So you're thinking of moving to Broadview Heights, Ohio? Stay tuned on all the pros and cons of living there. Hi, this is Joy Larson with the Joy Team in the Keller Williams Greater Cleveland Market. Thanks for joining us today. Today's all about Broadview Heights, Ohio. Are you ready? First, just to tell you a little bit about Broadview Heights. It is about $139 per square foot for a home. So you're gonna be spending a little bit for your home in Broadview Heights, roughly 275,000 all the way up to four and 500,000 dollars. And a condo is about $100 per square foot, so you're gonna be spending about $100,000 for a thousand square foot. So just to tell you a little bit, if you're looking in that range, then Broadview Heights is the place for you. Let's talk about the five pros, three cons, and stay tuned for my joyous hidden gems. Here we go. First one, those of you I have talked about SafeWise, well on SafeWise.com, Broadview Heights was rated number one, not only in the whole state of Ohio, but guess what, in the entire US. So Broadview Heights, well, well done there. Number two, the location is absolutely fabulous if you are going to Cleveland or if you're going to Akron. So if you're not sure where you're gonna work and you don't know if you'll be in Cleveland or if you're gonna be in Akron, then you might as well look at Broadview Heights because you'll be halfway in between, right? So keep that in mind as well. Location, location, location. You got it right there. Number three, the rec center is newly built. So those of you who want a rec center in your community, then Broadview Heights has it as well as I was going to film this for you, but I figured to spare you the details of me going on the slide that they have, you know, but it was closed when we were going. So bummer, you don't get to see me going down the slide, but they have basketball courts, they have the indoor pool, they have all of the stuff that rec centers that you will like in a rec center. So you gotta check that out. Number four, those of you who have ever listened to or watched or read Cleveland Magazine, Cleveland Magazine rated Broadview Heights as the number fifth city overall in the Cleveland area. So well done, Cleveland Magazine rated you very well. So if you're looking for something that has an all around appeal, then Broadview Heights is it. Number five, the Broadview Heights school system is the same as Brexville. It's Brexville Broadview Heights school system. So I have talked about that and it is rated very well. If you look on Zillow or anything like that, you can check out their ratings as well. It is well done. Now, we talked about the five pros. Let's talk about the three cons. Those of you who like to have a lot of community feel, you might not get that in Broadview Heights, just to be honest. And this is my first con, is that they don't have a lot in the area of that community stuff, like Lakewood does, or just um, Hudson sometimes does, you know, different things like that. And I know some of you are saying, wait a second. Well, you can comment below and tell me all the different things that your community in Broadview Heights does. Let's talk about number two. There aren't a lot of shopping in the area. So you're gonna have to go to Strongsville or you're gonna have to go to Fairlawn for a lot of your shopping needs. They're not going to be right there. That's probably why it was rated so safe because you don't have any of that theft from the shopping. So that's my guess, that's just my take. And number three, if you want to live and work in the same place, there's not a lot of employment opportunities in Broadview Heights because they call it more of a bedroom type community. So you're going to be living there. So if you just want to get away from where you work and you just wanna go travel to places to shop, then Broadview Heights is the place. Now, let's talk about my Joy's Hidden Gem. It is the Green Acres Garden Club. They have a hundred plots that you can actually buy uh, at, per the year and you can have your own place to garden. So if you have a spot where you're in a condo or something like that, you can go there. Or I was gonna say, I'll hire somebody to do my gardening for me there because I have a black thumb. 
unfortunately. I am no good at gardening, but maybe they can teach me a thing or two. Anyway, go check that out and thanks for joining us and we'll see you next time.